If you need money fast and new tales from the Borderlands, don't worry. I have the fastest money-making method right here. The money! Seriously, it's a... Uh, Super easy, barely an inconvenience. Exactly. Now, despite the confusing intro from Brees at the start of the game, that makes you think that money may be more important to collect just in case you need it later, it's only really useful so that you can buy all the characters' individual cosmetic items. But doing so also unlocks the okay vein much achievement. So if you're going for that achievement and you're wanting to purchase every single cosmetic the game has to offer, this will cost you a little over 114,000 credits. Luckily, unlike the original Tales from the Borderlands, you can get a ton of money everywhere. Anything from rubbish bins, lockboxes, safes, even ancient alien treasure chests. A false bottom filled with fat stacks of cash? How is this inside a vault sealed by an ancient alien race? Although those are all options, the best place to farm money is actually Susan Codwell's office, which is found in Episode 5, Chapter 4. Now it takes a good 10 to 15 minutes of unskippable dialogue and gameplay to get you to her office. And once here, there's another small cutscene. But after this is over, you can go around her office looting all the safes and get around 13 to 14,000 credits. This means even if you were starting at zero credits, you would only need to run through this area 10 times in order to buy everything. What are you, the goddess now to save time, compass? you can just make a backup save once you get to her office and keep running through this section over and over again. But you also need to trigger an auto save to secure your newly acquired credits. To do this, you normally need to forward the story, which again takes some time to trigger. But there's an even easier way. You see, in Susan's office, there's a quick change station. So, after you run through looting her office, all you need to do to trigger an autosave is buy one thing. Now, you simply quit to the main menu and continue. From here, you can watch that small cutscene again, and now you're free to loot her office all over again. And again. And again. This should save you a ton of time. We at the Tour Corporation sincerely believe this is fucking awesome! Right, so after doing that a good 8 to 10 times, you should have all the credits you need to purchase everything. But if you're just starting out and you can't wait to get to episode 5, you can get pretty much endless money by repeating the Poco Taco section in episode 1, chapter 3. It does have a much longer, unskippable cutscene, and you only get around 7,000 to 10,000 credits per run. But it works exactly the same way. Simply run around the area, picking up all the hidden cash, in everything from lock boxes to washing machines, and then go and buy something from the quick chain station. Unfortunately, in this area, there's another cutscene every time you go to buy something here too. So I'd say only use this method if there's some cosmetic you desperately need and you simply can't wait until later in the game. But hey, if you know a better area or a better method than this, let me know in the comment section down below. I hope this guide helps you guys out. Please remember to give this video a like and subscribe and ring that bell if you haven't already. And if you think this guide can help someone else, give it a share. It always helps.